All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to create a 1099 vendor. In this video, we're gonna learn how to prepare 1099s, print it, and then send it. And what's very important for this part of QuickBooks Online, or for just this video, is to have your vendors mailing addresses. That's what we're gonna do. QuickBooks offers like an automated service, but I never go that route. Let me show you what I'm talking about. From the top, let's go to expenses. We've got our expenses out here. We created a couple examples in the last couple of videos. Let's go to prepare 1099s. Welcome back. Let's finish your 1099. Let's, let's do it. We, okay, Larry's Hot Dogs. Here's our legal business name. I'm just gonna come up with something baloney. We live in, what's the best fictional city of all time? Uh, Utopiaville, I don't know. Utopiaville. This is, this value is required. You ask me what state it's in? We'll say Colorado. Zip code. I don't know if it's gonna spit this back or not. How well does it know what's up? Tax ID, um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm gonna use my employers. This is just, uh, actually this is an old employer. And 240240, 6123. Next, moving along. All right, so assign your vendor payments to 99 categories. Uh, more often than not, and generally 100% of the time, it's non-employee compensation. That's actually what the YouTubers get from YouTube. When you make YouTube videos, you get a little piece of the action and YouTube calls you a nine, uh, 1090 miscellaneous non-employee compensation. Nonetheless, this is box number seven is the one you're going to be clicking on, choose an account. Now, this, there's no right or wrong. Again, this is a thing that's up to you. Remember, we talked about this in the first couple of videos. Uh, how well do you keep your stuff organized? And I think we just put this in contractors. This is an expense, just like that. Next. Now, it's going to ask me, confirm your 1099 vendors. Make sure that your vendors are correct and it meets your threshold for this year. Yes, that is correct. Well, here's what happens. Um, 2017 it isn't over yet, and uh, it's we can't file yet because it's not the current year. What it's saying is, what are our vendors for 2016? Well, for the sake of this tutorial, I created a new trial, QuickBooks Online. Um, I'm not all about having my vendors information and stuff like that. So there's really nothing there. So we're gonna click on next, it's gonna say, Nothing, this and that. Uh, well, I'm surprised it actually let us go through. So here's what we're talking about. So you, you can either do this like QuickBooks, fees apply to electronically file. Here's the old school way. I like it mailed to my house. You know, at the end of the year, you're looking for your tax returns, you're looking for this and that. You're looking for it in the mail, not an email. So we're gonna print and mail forms and it's just got the basic this and that. It's the form that you fill out. It kind of looks like a W-2 and that's it. That's really how you print a 1099 in QuickBooks Online, tax year. It's not gonna let us go to 2017. It's just all of that. That's the gist, yes looks good, yada, yada, yada. And that is how you create a, that's how you print out a 1099 in QuickBooks Online. You're a legend, I'll see you in the next video. We talk about payroll. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you so much.